Dr. Gaines here at the Melville School District with another one of our COVID updates. Now we gave an exhaustive update like two hours long at our board meeting last night and you can watch that on our YouTube channel. So today I'm going to try to be relatively quick. One of the things that we seem to talk about every week is this regional transmission rate and it did go down. It went from 1.08 the last couple of weeks to 1.05. But this morning, as I was going through and updating all of the data, one of our data sources is now providing a new report. So I've got that here, and that is what's happening with the daily transmission rate, not the count, not the weekly transmission rate, but the daily transmission rate, and just here in St. Louis County. And when we looked at that and we saw it for the first time this morning, it is really showing some good news that our transmission rate in the county has been below one for quite some time, really since about Thanksgiving. So that means that we're seeing reduced spread of the virus in the county. So that's really, really good news. So that's really all I'm gonna share from a data point because we talked so much in that other video about um, all the data and all the things that are going on in the district. What I did end with last night is what I wanna share with you today. And that is we're not making any changes for January 5th when students return from the, the break. However, we are gonna make um, a decision and an announcement on January 8th around any changes for the semester. And what I told the board last night and what we want everybody to know is that our hope is that based on the data on January 8th, we'll be able to make a decision to bring high school back to the blended model at semester. And hopefully we'll be able to bring elementary in five days a week. And that's going to depend on all of us and what we do over the break. So we need your help. Every week I talk about wearing your mask, right? You know, I got these little um, ones, disposable ones. We got some thick, thicker ones that I've been using. So, you know, no matter what, please, please wear a mask. We've heard more and more from different states about that what's been driving the spread of the virus is homes and gatherings within homes. So please be mindful of that. You know, here in the district, we've got soap in our bathrooms and we can let kids wash their hands and adults too. So please make sure that over the holiday, everybody's washing their hands and keeping them clean. You know, if washing your hands becomes a little bit more difficult, you know, hand sanitizer, that can always help too. Also, you know, if you disinfect um, surfaces, all of that helps, you know, just a little spray bottle. I know it can be hard to get a hold of these things sometimes, so maybe some wipe down with some disinfectant wipes. Here in the district, we're also fortunate. We've got these electrostatic spray guns kind of all over in our buildings so that we can do deep cleaning when we have a case. So you're probably not gonna have this at home, but please, please, please adhere to these mitigation strategies over the break so that we can continue to see reduced spread of the virus and we can get our kids back for more in-person learning. Thank you, we're not gonna do an update next week. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. We'll see you with an update on January 8th. Thank you.